What's up homies and welcome back. So today at E3 there was a pretty damn interesting conference by Microsoft in which they tackled a couple of points that in my opinion should have been tackled a long time ago like Xbox 360 time ago in terms of like some of the points. The first one was that apparently the S1 is gonna get a refresh I guess so like a new paint job. What they're gonna do is that apparently they claim that they're gonna release in the near future, we hope, and software upgrade for the user interface of the Xbox One. Let's say that nowadays to invite a friend, it might actually require you seven different steps. You know, enter the view profile, then send a friend request, or maybe send message, then hope for them for, to join, and yada 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 yada. Apparently, that is gonna be a lot, lot easier. Apparently, it's gonna be a lot more user friendly and a lot more gamer friendly, which is something that I believe the console, a gaming console, should focus a little bit more. Especially noticing the competition, aka okay, PlayStation 4. If I want to invite someone into PlayStation 4, it's literally like snappy. One, two, done. Easy, easy peasy. And I was really, really mad when I first initially really, you know, received the Xbox One because I was like, but why is it so complicated? Why? I mean, I'm the first one to say that I'm a lazy ass gamer by any means. But the thing is that I paid a lot of money for this company, for this console, and I don't want. Seriously, I do not expect compared to the money that I actually spent to buy the console to actually have to learn how to use the console This should be like something to chillax and just you know play with your friends It cannot be possible that it takes so many different steps and actually requires effort and knowledge to be able how to access the different menus Especially considering that we're coming from the Xbox 360, okay? 360 easy as fudge that console to invite friends to you know have a party chat that kind of good stuff so easy Xbox one hell what the hell happened there dude? Was the developer drunk or something? I think they completely mis misinterpreted the target audience or the target customer in that case. The second announcement that they actually made is that the Xbox One is gonna be finally retro compatible, aka you're gonna be able to play your Xbox 360 games on the Xbox One. Apparently, it's gonna be e a lot easier than what I actually thought. I personally thought that they were gonna, you know, update the catalog of the Microsoft Store and then make you repurchase certain games that you wanted to play on the Xbox One, which, quote unquote, from a business point of view, it actually makes sense. But they made it even smarter, or at least more consumer friendly or customer friendly. Basically, if you have an Xbox 360 game, what you simply, apparently they claim this, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't tried it yet, but what you can simply do is that you pick the 360 disc, you put it inside the Xbox One, the game will automatically be downloaded on the Xbox One library and you will be able to play it whenever you want, which is absolutely mind-blowingly cool. That's all I'm gonna say, because the only reason why I am keep on uploading Advanced Warfare is simply because I cannot play my older CODs. All my controllers for the Xbox 360 are completely destroyed, in case you guys have never joined one of my streams, when I get mad, and keep in mind I do that kind of frequently, I throw the controller, I don't know why, I bang it on my desk and just throw it away, I throw it on my bed and that kind of good stuff, I don't know why, I just react that way. And yeah, so I broke all my 360 controllers, and that's why I'm uploading Advanced Warfare, because I cannot play with the Xbox One controller on the Xbox 360, but if this actually brings the Xbox 360 games over to the Xbox One, I don't know, this is gonna be interesting, especially because let's say that you actually have an Xbox 360 and you want to start your own YouTube channel, let's say you want to start it only around Black Ops 2, in that case you will be able to use the uh, capture card built in with the Xbox One to record your Xbox 360 games, which in my opinion is absolutely cool, plus you will be able to stream directly from the Xbox One while playing let's say Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, COD 4, COD 1, whatever game you want to play that was playable on the uh, Xbox 360 is gonna be playable also on the Xbox One, which is good, like freaking good, finally man. As a consumer, this is actually cool. I mean, also, we gotta keep in mind that this is up to changes, let's put it this way, this is just an announcement that they made. Just like last year, they, they, they said that the Xbox One was not a gaming console, and apparently it also runs games this year. So yeah, shit changes, I guess, so. The last announcement, which is, was the one that I was really most surprised of, was that they're gonna release a new controller. And it's gonna be a new modded controller. And not any modded controller, you know, the, the main competitor out there is Cuff Gaming, they, they release, you know, a controller for both the 360, the, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3, that allows you to have like four paddles on the back, uh, trigger stops and all that kind of good stuff, and it's extremely like, they, they, they place themselves over the fact that you can customize it, but apparently this one is gonna be branded Microsoft, it's gonna be built by the same guys that actually released the console, and in case you guys didn't know, a couple of weeks ago, I would say a month ago, 
Xbox actually released a picture that they're gonna uh, bring to the to the market, a new controller that has a um, uh, 3.5mm jack instead of the weird Microsoft prioritary cable, or mic adapter, whatever that thing is called. Uh, that most of the times it doesn't even work, but let's let's place this in our mind, okay? Let's think about this. The Xbox, I'm sorry, Microsoft is gonna release a controller that has four paddles on the back that lets you manually adjust trigger stops while also, you know, enabling them or removing them up to you just by the pull of a trigger, the pull of a lever, I'm sorry, that lets you completely remap the entire controller you want the start button to be the a button you can do that no problem apparently this is what they claimed and that it also lets you change the thumbsticks let's say that you you know you're into sniping and that day you want to snipe and you feel like you have better precision with the extremely long thumbsticks you can actually change them let's say that you play a lot of console and the thumbsticks wear off you can simply change and putting them a new one but like this is awesome Seriously, why? Because I'm a SCAF user, SCAF con controller, customer, whatever you want to call me. I have a SCAF 360, I have a SCAF 1, and I have a SCAF PlayStation 4, okay? Recently bought the last one because a friend of mine was like, hey, you know, since we're probably going to exchange the consoles and you're going to give me a SCAF 1, I might as well buy you a SCAF PlayStation 4, and that's where, you know, we're kind of even. But man, like, this could literally change everything this could literally bring scuff gaming to bankruptcy and i'm serious about this because probably microsoft is gonna release it a little bit cheaper than the competition just because they're a big multinational and they can mass produce and you know use scale economic economies of scale and that kind of good stuff which i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know what i'm talking about just trust me they're able to produce it a lot lot cheaper than a small company like scuff gaming and this you know they might actually push to be the quote-unquote big uh, sponsor in MLG events, okay, literally SCUF is gonna lose everything, especially because apparently from what I've seen from pictures, if you put a SCUF gaming and um, an elite Xbox One wireless controller, which is the name of the new controller by the way, you put them side by side, the elite Xbox One controller absolutely owns the SCUF one, it owns so brutally, the only thing that the SCUF Scuff Gaming can use at their advantage is the fact that it's customizable. They can have, you know, your own graffiti painting and all that kind of fancy shizzle. Which is stuff that, you know, most of the people I believe, or at least I do not really care that much about. As long as it works and it gives me, you know, that advantage. Yeah, I'm down for it. But, I don't know, man. It's gonna be interesting to see how this situation evolves, how Scuff actually answers to this thing. Because, think about it. If the Elite Controller actually comes out to be cheaper than the Scuff one and... On the Xbox One, you will be able to play also Xbox 360 games. That literally means that half of SCAF gaming is gone. Because they're not going to be able to produce anymore and sell anymore SCAF 360. Nor SCAF 1. They're going to be left with only Sony material like the SCAF uh, PlayStation 3 and the SCAF PlayStation 4. Uh, th this is going to be interesting to see how it, uh, how it evolves. I'm really sorry for the long commentary. I really hope that I didn't bore y'all. That's it. Hope y'all had a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>